When you play Wright-Patterson Mahjong, the hands are in a book. A lot of people think that it takes forever to play this style because people are always looking through the book trying to figure out what to play. But you do get used to it and you end up memorizing the hands in the book, mainly because they publish the books about every five to six years. Train yourself to make quick decisions during the Charleston. I think if you can make decisions in under two minutes as an advanced player, that's a pretty good guideline for intermediate players under 30 minutes and for beginners under four minutes. And then if you're a beginner, push yourself to make decisions in under three minutes. If you're intermediate, push yourself to make decisions in under two minutes and see if your skills improve. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos. Let's do Charleston Sprints. So I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. I've got my smartphone here with a stopwatch on it. You can use any stopwatch. I'm going to say we're the dealer for these sprints. So I'm going to take 14 random tiles. Then we'll create a mock Charleston. Okay, we're going to do sprint one. Okay, I think I would do cracks and honors. So let's discard these three. Let's go ahead and get rid of the two now. Right here. There's crack and a wind. And here's a pair. We got to break that up. Let's pass those three. There's an honor. Honors are winds and dragons. Let's throw those. There's crack. And we're done. Okay, cracks and honors. We have two pair in here. I think we're in between Razzle and News Lineup. I'll read those to you. Page 21. Oops, that's Gate Hand. Page 17, Razzle, number six. Five pairs in one suit with news. Okay, we wouldn't need one of these wins. So let's say we have four discards. We have one, two, three, four, five. We'd have to pair these up right here. Then we have news lineup. Sequence of one to nine with news and one win paired. So we'd have to discard two tiles. I think we're closer to Razzle. Only four discards versus six. So that was not a bad Charleston. If you can get to four discards after the Charleston, I think that's a pretty good chance of a win. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comment section. Let's do sprint two. Let's roll for prevailing. I forgot to before. I rolled a six, six is south. So I'll put a two up on the dice. Okay, so let's lap it. Okay, east, west, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. I'm thinking big chows, mixed suits. We've got a lot of mixed suits. Six, seven, eight, nine. We might be able to do an honor hand. Let's discard these three. Honors are wins, dragons, ones, and nines. There's a red. Here's an eight. We have tiles that we can pass, but we need to, I think, pick a hand. We need a pair of sixes, seven, eight, nine in each suit. Let's get rid of the one. 
Oh, look at these. Okay. Eight, not seven, eight. Okay, I think we should pass the east, west five. Maybe we could play double numbers with those dragons there. There's another dragon. Let's pause or lap it. Okay, so I would try maybe to play in order to leverage these dragons. I think I would try to play double numbers. We have a gap though. We have no seven dot. We need a seven dot. We only need a pair of dragons here. The other thing we might be able to do, it would be a long shot, would be dragon gates. Yeah, we gave up a one crack. That's too bad. I should have thought about that. Dragon Gates number 33 on page 21. 111 or 999 with a sequence of two through eight with one tile paired and the corresponding dragon. Let's see how many I gave up. A one and a five. I gave up two tiles for Dragon Gates. We could have played Dragon Gates. Okay, so yeah, this is not good. I think I would hold the dragons and the nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four, eight. I would start by discarding these. Hold these. Oop, we don't need that. Uh, let's count these though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. These would be a long shot. Seven, eight, nine, the big chows would be a possibility. I would still start by discarding those two, five. That was a bit rough. If you would have done something different, write it in the comment section. see if I can do better this time. I think I messed up that last one. One, two, three, four. Little chows. And I keep dropping tiles. I don't have time for that. I just burned through precious seconds. Okay, let's hold cracks for sure. This is a little risky. Let's pass those cracks. I think we should play all cracks. Let's get rid of this one bam. Crack. Let's keep the south. No, we're not keeping that south because we need to break this up right there. cracks lap okay cracks it is we could play pung chow three away this was the best one out of all of them three discards for pung chow if uh let's just see what the pung chow situation is here's a one two three so there's a chow three four five chow four six potential chow with a, a closed weight meaning we need a five in the middle. And then here's a six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four sets and a pair. So we need a five crack and two other cracks as a pair and we'd be good to go. So let's see, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, two, three, four. This would be another way to do it. One, two, three, three chows. We need a two crack here and then any other crack for the pair. So this was a really, really good Charleston. I'm not surprised. One suit, if you gather one suit, you are probably gonna have a pretty good chance of having a pretty good result, I think. Because there are so many number tiles, the chances of you getting numbered tiles in your suit are pretty good. 
course you got to pick the right suit and that's where a little bit of luck comes in so let's see how we did here with time I think I made it let's see sprint one one minute five seconds sprint two one minute 28 sprint three one minute 19 so I think I did make it but I think I tend to see the same hands little chows big chows anytime I have mixed suits I want to play those chow hands or of course the hopscotch hands and then one suit options for some reasons those really click in for me but I really don't push myself with jewel hands gate hands date hands hands of honors is pretty easy wins dragons ones and nines so yeah I think I still need to push myself but I could definitely make some quick decisions especially practicing with this method if you have a set at home give it a try and let me know how it goes for you if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos that way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight of the game that might give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.